So when you start a manifestation, you want to know what it is that you want. It's very important to figure out what it is that you want. And so sometimes it's not really clear what we want. And sometimes we want things that are not exactly what we truly want. And so I like to do some journaling exercises and a, a good journaling exercise would be to write, how do you want to see yourself in five years in the future? And don't leave anything out and write it as if it's in present tense. And uh, you want to really get into the feeling of what it is that you want, because it's our feelings are what manifest in the world and not necessarily our conscious thoughts. It's like how we feel. It's the subconscious that's pulling out our manifestations as opposed to our conscious thoughts. And so you want to get into the feeling of what it is that you truly desire. And so if you are able to journal about how you see your life being and you take everything into consideration, and then you can start your manifestation from the future, from your future self. How do you see yourself in the future and how that person is living? And then you bring that to the front, you know, like, okay, I want to do, or I am this, or I am that, you know, it's all I am statements and present tense. You want to be very, very present and also be very grateful and happy. And so the biggest thing about manifestations is being in a state of gratitude, because that is, you know, when we are grateful for what it is that we have or what it is that we desire, we are closer to the source from where all of the blessings come from. So you really need to get into a positive state of gratitude. So I would say get into a grateful state and come at your manifestation from the future. And that is how you start a manifestation. Thank you.